But first tonight, we talk with a lot of authors here on 207, and all of them have their own stories besides the ones they write. That is certainly the case with David Rosenfeld, who left a high-level career in the movie business to write novels and has published a lot of them. His newest is just hitting the stores, and 207's Don Kerrigan went to talk with him about it. Hey, Don. Which is always fun. I've known David for 12 to 15 years, did my first story with him a long time ago. His books are engaging and fun to read, and he's also one of the sharpest and most quick-witted people you'll meet. And he's been able to find a way to put enough of his own story into his novels, and the readers just seem to love it. This is why people... We first met David Rosenfeld because of dogs. I'm keenly aware that the dogs are the draw. Lots of dogs. You will never see a book without a dog on the cover, even though it has nothing to do with the book. It was this book, Dog Tripping, about moving from California to Maine with 25 rescue dogs that first put him on our author's radar. So who's this? This is Hank. And who's coming over? Mia. Yeah. And now, this is Daisy, our newest. <laughs> She's from Georgia, and we got her a few months ago. Rosenfeld and his wife, Deb, still rescue dogs that need a good home. The size of their pack has declined to only 12. They are big dogs, but still get to share the bed, which Rosenfeld says is comforting. Some might say that sounds odd. Yeah, some would. <laughs> and some would be right. <laughs> His dog rescuing is clearly one reason thousands of readers like what David Rosenfeld writes. They love your books, but they love this. Yeah, this sets me apart. There's no question about that. <laughs> it add, it adds I'm texture. one of a bunch of authors, but I'm very, there's very few of us that live this kind of lifestyle. Does that surprise you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I sometimes think I want to join the group who doesn't live this kind of lifestyle. <laughs> But not yet, and dogs are always in the books, and on the covers, and in the titles. Titles sometimes embarrass you? <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Especially the Christmas titles. Um, Do you come up with those in, ideas? No. Dachshund Through the Snow, uh, Silent Bite. Which brings us to the reason for this visit, his brand new book, just released. So this is, embarrassingly, Twas the Bite Before Christmas. <laughs> Rosenfeld's new novel is the latest in his popular series of murder mysteries featuring the favorite character, defense attorney Andy Carpenter. Rosenfeld says he doesn't know how many copies get sold, but it's enough to keep the publisher happy. This is his 28th Andy Carpenter book. That's pretty impressive. Well, as I've said before, if you go for quantity rather than quality, <laughs> you could churn them out. He typically writes two novels each year and sometimes a third. And as always, this story starts with a crime. Andy has a, uh, a guy who um, helps out at the foundation, and the, the, his rescue foundation. And uh, one day at the Christmas party, they show up and arrest a guy for murder. Lots of people I have suggested that Andy Carpenter is an alter ego for, ego for you, alter ego for you. And I certainly, knowing you socially as a friend, I certainly see some similarities in personality. I wouldn't even say alter, right? It is you. His quirks in it are All yours. It. Absolutely. He's a sports degenerate. He's yeah, totally me. In fact, sports and Rosenfeld's likes and dislikes have become essential to the Andy character and the author. The only thing I put in a book once, the first book that wasn't me, and I've regretted ever since, is I made Andy a Yankee fan. And so and still to this day, 22 years later, people come up to me like who are Yankee fans at, and like we have a kinship, like and I hate the Yankees, right? I've always hated the Yankees. Ever since, Andy has been a Mets fan. But clearly, it is also Rosenfeld's skill as a writer, as well as his sense of humor, that make these books sell. If you extract all the humor and Andy's personality, they're, they're pretty solid legal mysteries, legal, right? Um, but 
you could throw a dart and hit, hit other successful you know, legal mysteries, right? Um, if, if anything makes this book, these books different, it's the humor and it's Andy's voice. And of course, there are dogs. Sometimes central to the story, sometimes not, but all part of the package that keeps readers eager to fetch the newest book. Yeah, there's nothing like a visit with David Rosenfeld. <laughs> uh, and readers can rest easy. He says he just signed a contract to, uh, for two more years to write four more Andy Carpenter novels uh, over the next two years. The first one's almost done. And one fascinating thing, how popular is this character? He says he gets people who write with marriage proposals no. for Andy Carpenter, who isn't real. <laughs> People, the books are in the fiction section. Yeah. <laughs> Not that hard to figure out. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Don. <laughs>